The following announcement has been paid for by the BRB, the Board of Redirected Blame. I'm filmmaker Kevin Kangas, and I have lupus, but that's not important. What's important is that I have an autistic son, and I'm not alone in this fight. One in every 88 children is born autistic, a number that has drastically increased over the seven years since Jenny McCarthy supposedly started her war against vaccines. Using the smokescreen of debunked medical data, she's been able to manipulate the populace in an ongoing series of deceptions, such as vaccinations, Baywatch, Scream 3, gluten-free diets, Python, Santa Baby 2, Christmas Maybe, and hyperbaric oxygen chambers. It's time to take a stand for what we believe in for the ones we love, and I'm ready to stand with BRB in this fight. We at the Board of Redirected Blame have spent countless man-hours scouring the annals of history, social media networks, and recently unearthed ancient texts to find the true source of autism's power. All empirical data has led us to the irrefutable conclusion that the singularity of autism came to Earth in the form of a bioorganic indigo crystal powered by gaseous remains of a collapsed dwarf star. This crystal, now known as the Necrostone, resides in the solar plexus of Jenny McCarthy. Its power, using the astral projected circuits of Denthor, flows through the hearts and auras of all autistic children, strengthening each day through Jenny McCarthy's red herrings and misinformation. The Necrostone's waves of destructive black power are legion. They flow as one entity through all infected children and can be extinguished if the sorceress housing the stone's power is decapitated and then immolated in the grand tradition of Grandor the Vanquished. Join the fight today. Pick up a consecrated battle axe against high sorceress Jenny McCarthy and her plague of autism. Death to the Necrostones. May we live beyond its light. For more information, visit www.saveourkids.com. Together, we can win this battle.